They say, hey, 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 that black fellow is stealing out the stove. Yes, him. He is stealing out the stove. Give me this. What in the world? Give me this. He didn't put it in his jacket. He didn't put it in his jacket. What did he steal? This man stole a Sprite can. God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, y'all. I just caught somebody stealing in my stove. One of them Americans then stole a Sprite can. I, I hate them goddamn Americans. Been stealing. <laughs> they, 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 anything they can touch, they steal. Even if a, a discount is on it. <laughs> oh man, we going to the U. We're going to Britain, y'all. Where my Britain people at? Where all my Britain fellas at? I love y'all, man. Shout out to the Europe people. Uh, they say uh, us Americans stole from Britain. And uh, we just been stealing all our lives. Oh, man. Yeah. We steal anywhere we go. You know what I'm saying? We go. We steal at grandma's house. We steal at the store. We still at the at the commu community uh, convention center. We, we even if stuff is free, we still stealing. Y'all know we gotta steal, man. That's how that's the way of life, stealing. So this video is the top ten things America has stole from Britain, and um, I'm interested in this video. Somebody sent this uh, yesterday, and I'm an American, y'all. So I'm, I'm I love to do these American reacts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it brings me joy doing these American reacts, man, and just keeps me on the positive side of things and keeps me laughing. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just very interested in learning and keeping myself educated, man. So, well, a lot of y'all used to say my you're my favorite American reactor, and then I kind of like just stopped. Uh, I went I went too deep into the music scene, so it's like ah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm gonna try to get back to my American reacts more heavy man i promise y'all man more heavy american reacts but these are the top 10 things america stole from britain let's check it out y'all welcome to watch mojo uk and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things america stole from britain he likes american stuff oh. before we begin <laughs> if you enjoy this video be sure to subscribe uh, watch mojo on this point don't for it more great content for this list, we're counting down famous facets of American culture which actually originated in Britain. I ain't gonna lie, that was satisfying. Did y'all see the way that Apple just... I'm, I know I'm off topic right now, but did y'all just see the way that Apple just hit that baseball bat? I mean, I'm gonna let y'all just see it again. I like that. We're counting down famous facets of American culture which actually originated in Britain. While standout British inventions are subject for another list, today's countdown tackles typically American things, which the US has the UK to thank for. We, f we done stole cheese from y'all. I forgot what we, what we done stole. Cause I, I can't even think of what we done stole from, from Britain. I'm trying to think. Did we steal a fruit from y'all or something? Or some kind of fruit or cheese? Some kind of bread or something? What we steal? I know we done stole. Because we, we always steal. I think everything down here. We ain't, ain't nothing originated down here from America. Nothing. Nothing. Number 10, Apple Pie. Swear to God. <laughs> Y'all stole the, we stole the apple pie from Britain. I know, you know why? That apple pie good as hell. <laughs> that apple pie, oh, when, when grandma put her foot in it and her big toes in it. Oh, oh, and then even the fast food apple pie. Oh, Lord. You ain't never had one of them apple pies from McDonald's down here. Oh, oh, but I'm talking about them apple pies. They throw in the deep fryer at the fast food joint. It still be good, even though it's unhealthy as hell, it still be good. As American as apple pie, right? Wrong. The sweet treat is a staple on US dining tables, but the British were the first to serve it way back in the 1300s. A popular Maybe I can find somebody that can make it and start as besides them fast food places, please. I, I recommend. I recommend if you got somebody in the family that can make a really, really good apple pie. Oh Lord, it's so good. Oh, I just want an apple pie right now. The dessert throughout European history, with Dutch and Swedish styles also inspiring menus worldwide, it was taken across the pond <laughs> with the 17th century colonists. 
Since then, apple pie has become a standout symbol of US patriotism, as well as a central component to a teen comedy franchise. It's not what it looks like. Number 9, YMCA. For real? <laughs> Way before village people turned this institution into a cheesy disco anthem, and long before the YMCA swept across America, the Young Men's Christian Association was the brainchild of English philanthropist George Williams. Dismayed by working conditions in 18th century London, Williams conceived the now famous charity as a safe place for its patrons. While the movement's worldwide influence is something to be proud of, difficult to imagine Williams joining in with the dance moves. MCA! Da, na, 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 da, what? That's my jam! We got, now we got the, we, you know what I'm saying, the YMCA, man, it's about two up the street now. Yeah, it's a full, full center. Jim, you name it, we going to the YMCA. Number eight, chocolate bars. I think I'll eat it now! <laughs> <laughs> Candy bars are big business stateside, but before Mars, Hershey's, Milk. Damn, we stole the chocolate bars from the Britain too? I'm telling y'all, I think everything we didn't we didn't stole from everybody. We just been stealing. Damn. P bar or baby Ruth, there was one bloke in Bristol making confectionery history. Joseph Fry finalized the first mass-produced chocolate bar in the mid-1800s, around the time that the Dutch developed a chocolate press. Fry's chocolate cream hit shelves in 1866 with a famed fondant filling, and the bar can still be bought today. John Cadbury quickly followed suit, while the likes of Hershey's didn't arrive until the late 1890s. Number seven, sandwiches. Wow. Could I have a glass of wine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and bro, we just stole everything, man. This is bad, y'all. And a ham sandwich, <laughs> if you like. With a pickle? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks to world-conquering fast food outlets, Homer Simpson and Joey Tribbiani, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this food stuff was a US creation. How I could have sworn we made all the damn sandwiches that American people made uh, originated the American sandwich. The turkey sandwich. The ham and cheese. Damn. The provolone on it. Throw some, some Swiss on it. Throw some cheddar cheese on it. Some lettuce pickles. Mayonnaise. What you like, mustard? What we'll throw some mustard on it for your daddy? Man, we done stole everything. I'm glad I did react to this. I'm learning, y'all. However, the history of the sandwich is long and complicated, and very little of it happened in America. <coughs> wow. While early versions are recorded across Europe, it's named after the fourth Earl of Sandwich in Kent. The story goes that he was an ardent gambler, and meat between bread was the simplest way of eating without disrupting a game of cards. Sandwich for display purposes only and should not be eaten. Number six, The Office. That's what she said. I knew that. I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. We all knew this. I think this was the only one on the list I knew. <laughs> if you haven't watched The Office, you've missed out on life. And I even I watched The Office just two i watched the full thing just two years ago yeah i started the series uh you know what i'm saying just two years ago man and i you know what i'm saying I, I i man i enjoyed the office man i enjoyed it and yet a lot of dark humor a lot of humor in it you gotta go check it out if you missed the office you missed out on life and it's not too late to go check it out some of y'all services provided i think uh what's that that thing that I watched it on, it was actually installed onto our TV, and I we came home and just watched it almost every single day, man, until we, until we got done with it. Yes, we. Or you can go on YouTube or the thing and just purchase the uh, seize the episodes and stuff, the seasons. Yeah, man. We mean the TV show and not the actual open plan workplace, which is largely a German invention. Anyway, unlike a lot of American remakes of British TV, The Office US did manage to tap into most of what made its predecessor purr. But after nine series and a shed load of awards, let's just remember where it all started. Steve Carell's Michael Scott is hilarious in his own right, but for fans of the British original, he'll always be David Brent in disguise. <laughs> Number five, plastic. Yeah, I seen that video. Yeah, <laughs> I did a lot of research uh, watching The Office, man. Uh, after we finished uh, those uh, series, man, and 
it's pretty crazy, man, how everything came together for that show. Yeah. Dick surgery. Wow. That came out of me. From Botox to boob jobs, America is the world's leading market for cosmetic surgery, with millions going under the knife every year. But yep. the industry was by no means born in the USA. Sir Harold Gillies is often credited as the father of plastic surgery, a New Zealand-born, London-based surgeon who gathered leading physicians to treat thousands of soldiers who had been injured or disfigured in World War I. Gillies' work became a blueprint for all sorts of reconstructive procedures and a starting point for today's aesthetic options. Number 4. The Light Bulb A supposedly serial stealer of other people's ideas, Thomas Edison's light bulb moment is considered one of the most significant Thomas. steps in modern technology. Hey Edison, how about sharing some of those light bulbs, huh? Hey, figure it out for yourself, man! But experts are continually divided on just how much Edison did to develop the design. Before the Wizard of Menlo Park, there were countless other scientists creating electric light and light bulbs, not least British pioneers including <gasps> Humphrey Davy and Joseph Swan. The anti-Edison camp claims that the inventor's only skill was knowing when to patent. One thing yes. Edison did invent, for a 100% genuine Edison invention that we use every day probably, most of us. Is it uh, nasal hair clippers? Number three, <laughs> donuts. One little bite won't hurt you. <laughs> oh, some nice old glaze early in the morning. Uh, shout out to all my glaze lovers. What my chocolate donut lovers? What my apple fritters lovers at? Oh, what you like the bear claw? You like that old fashioned? You one of them? You look like one of them old fashioned fellas. I can see you saying, "Oh yes, Rick, I love me an old fashioned early in the morning." One of them old glaze. We go straight to the donut shop and they don't forget the kolache. <laughs> don't forget the kolache. <laughs> Don't forget that kolache with it. Shout out to all the real ones that like eating donuts with the kolaches, man. Good stuff. Now, the origins of the donut are a sticky affair, with claims and counterclaims sending historians round and round in circles. However, while a stronger suggestion remains that the Dutch took the treats to America in the mid-19th century, a 2013 discovery seemingly proves that the Brits were baking them at least 50 years before. Baroness Elizabeth Dimsdale's cookbook dates to 1800 and includes a strikingly similar recipe. A deep fried concoction of sugar, eggs, butter and yeast, add some icing and it's the real deal. Real deal. Number 2. Baseball A national sport and obsession in the US, baseball was born in the UK. There are countless records of bat and ball games being played in Blighty. Shout out to them Houston Astros. Starting. Yeah, I know I'm in Houston, man, so shout out to my Astros, man. I knew we stole baseball from y'all, man. Now, them boys make millions a year over here, man. Them boys make millions over here, man. Them Astro boys. Them big league, major league baseball. Yes, law. With stool ball in the 1300s. Sure, the rules have changed and refined over the years, but the basic premise is usually the same. Someone pitches, someone swings, others try to catch. In fact, some researchers argue that baseball is an offshoot of cricket, an English obsession which didn't catch on across the Atlantic. At all. Mm. Number 1. The Star Spangled Banner yeah, What the f <laughs> We finish with a final salute for Great British influence on American culture because the US national anthem is sung to the tune of an 18th century English drinking song. Baltimore wordsmith Francis Scott Key takes full credit for the lyrics, but the melody was written by John Stafford Smith, a Gloucester-born composer. The wow. anacreontic song, as it was originally known, was regularly belted around a prestigious London gentleman's club, where wealthy people met to wine and dine. Wow. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other mm, mm, mm. I just learned this video, man. Yeah, I just learned, man. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's why I make these videos. It's not only to have fun, but to learn. Your favorite American is learning, y'all. And I got to get out of America. So somebody please send me a plane ticket. I'll go get my passport. I promise. Just send me the plane ticket. But uh, I love y'all, man. Um, just sending y'all more blessings, more love, more health, more success. 
um, and more growth to you all, your kids, your loved ones. And y'all just stay safe out there, man. Stay blessed. And um, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for requesting this video. Keep sending in more requests. Simple comment down below. You know what I'm saying? And I love y'all, man. Y'all take care of yourself and please, please stay safe out there. And um, tell the family you love them. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.